what is up everybody it is your boy mafia here with another video today's video is going to be a damage and flank tier list for the elo platinum which is the elo that i'm at currently uh, as we're talking in this video um i will be splitting up all of the characters in paladins so that these videos aren't too long for you guys uh this one is obviously going to be damage and flank like i said uh, next one will probably be support and the next one after that will probably be fl uh, frontline just three videos I'm trying to make them as short and sweet as i possibly can um but again these are all pi opinionated on what i've seen and uh, the people that have played these characters and how much they impact the game right so okay get right into it let's get on to the tier list so easily the first three that i want to just put up there sky don't have to explain it zin at my elo slash platinum elo super broken because people don't know how to deal with him vivian i'm sure this is in any elo mouse one that's it that's all i gotta tell you it's just mouse one she's a shield destroyer she's a health destroyer cassie um I consider her more like a flank instead of a damage. I say that she's probably either I want to say B plus. I do. I wish there was a B plus here. This is someone else's tier list, by the way. I'm putting this up on uh, Evie. One of those champions that if you do well, you do really, really well. If you don't, you're useless to the team. So I'm gonna put her at B uh, because. If every player could play like a top tier EV player, then they'd be S. But Milo never really see a good EV. Uh, Buck I'd say that he's a smidge higher than Sky. He's just one of those flanks that no one uses and is pretty pretty bad against most uh, meta teams. And Droxus, a really really strong champion, probably the second best flank in the game. Uh, especially in my elo so i'm gonna put him there he uses his 600 per shot talent and does like 900 per headshot really good against nando which is probably the time one of the top tier tanks um so yeah uh kinesa uh i want to say usually you'd see i'm gonna put this in tandem You'd see that Strix should be S tier because of all of the utility that he has. That he has. His flashbang, um, his invisibility, his pistol. Um, just in general, he just has a better damage output than Kinesa. But at my rank, most people know to come and use Kinesa a lot better. Uh, her teleport just seems a lot nicer against the the picks that most people pick at my meta or at my elo. <clears throat> Drogos, just because the snipers and the hit scans are in meta, Drogos players, again, kind of like Eevee, unless you're really, really good with Drogos, he's just not good in the meta. So I'm going to put him at B tier. And then A tier, Victor, deserving, really easy champion to play. You press mouse one. You run around. Most people use cardio, so he heals while he runs. Some people use burst and just does more damage. He's just a high, dam high damage output champion for low skill cap, basically. It's just a low skill cap champion that does a high amount of damage. Uh, Shaolin, I'm going to put at A. He honestly could be sitting at S tier. But I'm not going to put him there only because the, most of the Shaolins that I see don't have that much of an importance unless they're diamond or higher in ELO. Maeve, uh, I really want to say that she's probably the third best flank just because most people don't know how to play against her uh, with her high mobility and her ability to dodge and get out of situations very well. Uh, Willow, really not played in the meta because again hit scans but in terms of things she's just like a worse drogos for for blast damage Alice, 
I'm gonna put it A tier. If there was a B plus, I'd put him there. Just because he's probably been the best that I've seen him be for like the last year. Um, but I, you know, just how I've seen him. Moji, uh, C tier. He's like a better Sky basically, so he's a better tank buster. He just has a little bit higher range and does better because of his uh, his shield, his little spell shield thing. Uh, Dredge, really good on a couple maps this season, um, slash the split. Um, but other maps, he's not really the best. So I'm going to put him at B. I think he really could be a B plus too. So uh, here we go. Bomb King. Kind of a hard choice because he could either be B or C. Uh, but most of the Bomb Kings that I see get destroyed by hit scans. So I want to say that his importance and his ability to play in the meta, at least in Platinum, that's C. Uh, which sucks because I know that he is, he has a really high damage output. But against most hit scans, Bomb King players or people that play him, uh, maybe a lot or maybe a little, Bomb King just doesn't do well seen a lot of good bomb kings but most of them are bad so <laughs> tyra uh, a really good hit scan again they're kind of just basically in meta um so i'm gonna put her at a she's basically a better victor i'd say she melts a lot faster than victor does at least base damage obviously his ult's really really good for aoe but he has unlimited ammo for an ult so Really strong and then she also has her uh her fire which cripples that's what most that's like the talent that most people use for her uh lex unfortunately i would put him higher um but because everyone has either a higher mobility or a higher damage output he really just doesn't fit in the meta so he's just kind of pushed to the side while every other champion is is moved up basically uh amani again another really high damage output character i wouldn't say she's a hit scan but she falls in line with doing as much as most of the hit scans uh, and if you get a right dragon off you can really save a point or uh, push something so she's just really strong and koga a tier um High mobility, high damage, ultimate shreds. So, no, uh, no changing that. Uh, Leon, again, kind of, kind of like Lex, but she does have a higher output than Lex, and she kind of has a little bit better fit in the meta because she does have some sniper moves. Uh, she doesn't do as much as most of these other champions, and she doesn't have high mobility besides her her kickback so really she doesn't do anything better than any of these people but she doesn't do anything worse than these people so she kind of just fits like a glove in the middle so, yeah again please do not get totally offended this is just my opinion on what i have seen and what people pick and how much it affects the games that i've played or watched either my friends or me in platinum so uh, for most champions or most characters these where these are where they lie um again some of them were kind of like oh c plus or maybe b plus but i think for the most part this is my idea of what they should be so um if you guys did enjoy um please hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell if you didn't enjoy and you have some changes that you'd like to see uh give me your opinion down in the comments and i will totally pour through uh, watch that and or, or read it and, and uh comment back to you for sure i hope you guys enjoyed again um sky is so bad but anyways okay we'll see you guys later it's been your boy mafia peace out